Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about a new PDF editor app that I found called PDF Element. It is an all-in-one smart PDF editor that where you can easily create, edit, convert, and annotate your PDF documents. It's a super powerful app and I want to show you how I use it for digital planning. First off, let's talk about annotation. Um, in this app, it's called the comment section. And in this section, you can see all the tools they can use to annotate your um, planner. So with the features here, um, like the pen feature, it's really cool because you can actually search for um, the color right on the page. So you don't have to go off page and get your color schemes to do all your decorating and you can save it as one of your customized colors. Um, once you've all written something, you can also select the text again um, and edit it after. So what you can do is select it and change the properties, either make it thicker, change a color or an opacity. So it's really handy if um, you feel like you need to change anything up after you've written something. And of course the pen feature is the one I use the most, but other than that, there's um, also a lot of features that you can see here. Um, there's a highlight feature where you can uh, set colors and highlight uh, text and um, underline and strike through. So um, I'll go through each of these features and show you what they look like. As you can see, the comment section is packed with annotation tools. Um, for my purposes of using a planner, it is way over the top. And of course, um, you might not just be using this for a planner, you're probably a student or a business owner. And you this is an Acrobat alternative, so you'll know how powerful this app is. All these tools are very intuitive to use and they bring so much value. And this app is actually free to download, so you can try out all the features without having to pay first. Um, there is a pro version which you have to pay, but if you don't plan on upgrading, you can still continue to use this app for free. So what I love about these writing tools is that you can actually adjust the thickness and the opacity after it's been written. So I won't have to rewrite the same thing over and over again just to see what it looks like on a different thickness. And the eraser tool is great because you can choose if you want to erase something as a whole or partially. And this is great if you just want to um, erase something very minimal and um, fix some details on some of the rewriting. This is also a very sought after feature in another app, so we know that it's something that is worth having. And these different types of text boxes are great because um, there's some that you can box around and some with arrows, and it's great for you know doing brainstorming and mind mapping, so I really like that feature. And of course, the shape feature is very handy because you can create um, your own elements on the spread. So having arrows, boxes, and circles already pre-made for you, um, it's a super handy tool. And for me, the most valuable part of this app is the PDF editing function. Um, it's in its own text area in the app, and what it does is you can um, edit the actual text on the PDF so that um, it changes the actual PDF. Um, I know a lot of people that use annotation apps would not be able to do this, so this is why it's such a huge feature to have uh, this editing feature. So what this allows you to do is um, edit any text on the planner that you have can even change the time of your schedule flawlessly um, 
on its original form so you don't have to do any workarounds to cover up um, your text and pretty much just customize your planner however you want it to be because we know that most of the time um, the links are preset and you're not able to edit those but with this app you'll be able to edit the text on the planner and um, really customize it to how you want it and lastly they have a custom stamp section which is pretty cool because you can create your own custom stamps um, they have pre-made stamps for you know all the document stamps that you would normally use but there's also a custom section which I'm going to create some of my own stamps and use over and over again so this is my little hack of how you can use this feature so some of the stamps or stickers that I usually use for my planner is um, tracking stickers so using the create stamp feature here I can actually create a little sticker tracker to be saved and what's really cool is you can figure out what shape you want it to be and so these little like long label type stickers would be perfect for this um, stamp uh, and other things you can do is just you know the label stickers that you would use all the time just put that in for appointments and you know figure out if you want which shape you want which color you want and just save them on there so you can this can be like your customized little sticker book if you want to use a free pdf editor that can help you creatively i recommend pdf element because there's so many features to help you modify and create pdfs and if you want to customize your planners and organizers, which is nearly impossible with other apps, this would be the best app to do that. And if you want more information about this app and want to try this app out, don't forget to check the links in my description. I'll have everything below. Thanks for watching my review and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.